As the new millennium dawned, 32-year-old Rebecca Armstrong continued her battle with AIDS while waging an all-out war to help others. Every Thursday night, Rebecca hits the toughest streets in downtown Los Angeles, working for Clean Needles Now, an organization that provides sterile syringes and condoms to drug addicts and sex workers. Michael Kelly, Needle Exchange Coordinator for Homeless Healthcare Los Angeles. It's all about interacting with people. We meet people just where they're at. And, and syringe exchange, needle exchange is a component of harm reduction. In the month of December 1999, we put out over 7,000 needles in 10 hours. That's five weeks, two hours a week, this corner. I don't know who could argue with the fact that that was 7,000 um, times people could get high without, without catching the virus. I wouldn't have ever thought that by caring and helping somebody out that had a drug problem could help so much. Do you need a tie? Okay, let me hook you up with one of those. And condoms. Okay. There you go, sweetie. See you next week. Take care. Fox, a homeless addict, has been going to the needle exchange for more than five years. Without the needle exchange, I'd probably be dead uh, by now. There's no telling what I'd have. And I know it'd be more than rabies. I'm quite sure of that. You're not going to stop people from shooting drugs, you know? So why not try to stop the spread of what goes along with shooting drugs? Okay, and condoms? Yeah. Okay. Okay, gentlemen, y'all have a nice night. Bigger. Bigger, bigger. Take care, Fox. Take care, Fox. Yeah. Rebecca's a soldier, and uh, that's what it takes out here in this little, little war. We need her out here. She's an asset to the community. But Rebecca has taken her fight beyond the mean streets of L.A. 